Alright, this is Fakafon's review of Mill Gear Solid 3. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, there goes Fakafon again with his rent of Metal Gear. He doesn't like Metal Gear. Nee, 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 nee. Well, you'd be wrong. I don't like Metal Gear Solid VR training. And even then, I might have been a little too rough on it, because when you get to the end levels, like the ninja training, the mystery, and etc., these are really fun. But 70% of the rest of the game sucks. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's move on. Now, the first major difference this game has from the from its predecessors is that uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, when you saw the enemy, they had a very limited range of view, like they could see like 3 feet in front of them. But in Metal Gear Solid 3, they can see very far, so camouflage becomes an essential part of the game. The setting is also very different, because uh, you're not in the present day anymore, you're in the past when you play as Big Boss, which uh, was the... Original guy uh, Snake was cloned from, if you get what I mean. Anyway, Snake was a clone, and he was cloned from Big Boss, whose code name was Snake as well, and he lost an eye. But anyway, so the story goes a bit like this. Actually, it's very hard to explain. So basically, you're an operation called Fox who wants to become an official part of the government by succeeding in rescuing a Russian defector that uh, started like building weapons for the United States, but then they got captured by the uh, KGB. And then when you fuck up, uh, because uh, some ex-general from the, uh, uh, okay, anyway, uh, then you, you meet a girl on a bike, and she's, like, working for the Chinese people, but you don't know that yet, and Revolver Assad is there, but he's really young, because this is the past, and he works for the United States, pretending to be KGB agent, pretending to be another guy, and uh, when you get right down to it, the guy builds a big, Giant thing, uh, missile, nuclear launch, Metal Gear doesn't exist, it's actually Shagohod. Oh wait, no, there's some guy at some point that tells you about Metal Gear and he's gonna sell it to the United States because his shoes are very nice, uh, or something like that, and then you meet a Raiden guy, and he's not Raiden, he's some kind of general that gets butt-fucked by the other general, who has a scar, and then you meet the boss, who's like the mentor of Snake, but not anymore, because she defected to the other guys, and she has a team of crazy people who kick ass and have weird code names. You got all that? Good. Let's keep moving. So yeah, the story is very confusing, but when you play the game, it makes more sense because you really f you just flow with it, honestly. So let's go back to camouflage, which I originally wanted to talk about before I got completely sidetracked. Camouflage becomes extremely important in this game because, uh, of course, you can hide the conventional way by just hiding behind a wall, but you're in a jungle this time, and walls are not very frequent. You have to rely a lot of camouflage in the boss fight, in the normal fights, uh, just getting around. And the types of camouflage they are, there's a lot of camouflage. You have the conventional camouflage, like, uh, I don't know, flectarn, or water camouflage, some normal jungle camouflage. But certain types of camouflage have special effects. For example, when you beat the bosses, if you beat them in a certain way that instead of killing them, you make them asleep, which kills them anyway, but anyway, when you do that, they give you a special suit that uh, has some special effects. For example, Revolver Ocelot actually just gives you a leopard camouflage, doesn't give you much, but let's say the pain guy. When you have his armor, you can control bees. Uh, when you get the fierce camouflage, you can become invisible for a short while. Uh, when you get some, uh, what, what is the guy? The end. When you get his camouflage, you can like just use the sun to recharge your energy, which is so useful. And you also, it's one of the best camouflage, I think. Anyway, a ton of camouflage, and some of them have special properties, and they come in handy a lot. There's also some downloadable content of uh, camouflage, and one of them is a Santa suit, which you don't need. And one of them, which I would recommend in early games, is uh, especially if you play on easy, would be the grenade one, because you can throw infinite grenade, and throwing those... Uh, chaff grenades, when you use them it fucks up the enemy's radio and they can't call for backup. Oh yeah, another thing that's different from Metal Gear Solid 1 is that uh, enemies call for backup. They're not completely retarded. And another thing that's uh, different is, uh, apart from the AI being smarter, is, uh, well, pretty much a lot of the setting. You're not in Alaska, you're in the jungle, you have to use camouflage. You have to eat. Now this is different. You in Metal Gear Solid 1, you took a ration and it gives you health, but in this game, it doesn't give you health, it gives you your energy. Because as time goes on, especially if you uh, move around a lot, you get tired and you need to eat. Now, there's many ways to find food in this game, and honestly, if you run out of food, I don't know how you manage that. First of all, there's the food shacks. It's very easy, you go into an enemy base, and they have food. 
and normally the food they have there doesn't perish and it's very very nutritious then you can kill animals or like uh, you can get some plants some uh, uh, how do you call it fruits you just take them eat them and there you go and also in this game you can get hurt and I don't just mean lose your HP I mean like you fracture your bones uh, you get burned and all that and then that's when the medical skills come in and you can use uh, well a lot of medicine that you have with you and if you run out of medicine again you go in an enemy base you find some you can shake some of the enemies so they give you some which I'll talk about a little later and some plants actually have healing properties so you get that plant and you heal yourself and of course it wouldn't be a Metal Gear Solid game if you didn't have your reliable little radio with all the other guys just talking to you and not helping at all well actually they help you a bit they give you tips and uh, did they, uh, they... Anyway, let's move on to something else, shall we? So, as far as the weapon selection goes, there's not a wide variety. You know, you get your shotguns, pistols, machine guns, uh, sniper rifles. I would say the biggest difference there is, is really having weapons that use tranquilizer darts and weapons that use, well, normal bullets. So, if you want to go the tranquilizer way and not kill anyone, so you look like more of a special agent guy, I don't know, you go that way. But it's harder because you don't get automatic rifles that get tranquilizers or shotgun tranquilizers, so you get a pistol, if you play on the easy mode, you get another tranquilizer pistol. And what I would really recommend, if you get to the boss, which is the end, and I'll talk about the bosses later, he has a Mosin Nagant, and he modified it to use tranquilizer darts instead of normal bullets. So you get a sniper rifle with tranquilizers. Extremely useful when you want to get the tranquilizer way. Uh, you can also get Revolver's Ocelot's revolver, but you have, to finish the, you have to finish the game once to get it, and you have to choose like the right revolver, and I really can't remember which one it is. And you can also get your, the boss's uh, automatic rifle that has infinite bullet. It's like a modified M4, I think, and her clip looks like an infinity. So that's why it shoots infinitely. Yeah, makes sense. All right, now let's talk about the crew. Because of course there's Snake. He, you, uh, you know everything about him except now he's from the past because he's the original, not the clone. But it's basically the same guy. You get uh, the general. Uh, wait, what's his name? Tom. I th that's his code name. But you get Tom. He's uh, pretty much the guy who uh, runs Fox, and he wants you, of course, to succeed the mission, and he helps you during, uh, during the mission. You get uh, some kind of medic that also knows about the wildlife, and she tells you everything about the animals that live in the area you are, and about you know medical supplies and all that. And you get Sigint, and that guy helps you with uh, weapons and like uh, the technology, uh, well, mainly weapon technology, but he gives you a little more about that. And then you have the boss. She doesn't stay long, and she talks about uh, pretty much survival techniques, but the problem is she doesn't stay. And also, the boss tells you about a CQC, a new concept in this game that wasn't in Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't talk about Metal Gear Solid 2 because I haven't played much. The only thing I remember is falling on bird poop and dying. But uh, in Metal Gear Solid 1, you punch a guy, he gets knocked out. And in Metal Gear Solid 3, however... Using CQC can be really useful if uh, you want to go in the more stealthy way again. And uh, when you knock out an enemy, he of course stays on the ground. He doesn't disappear like in Metal Gear Solid 1. So you have to hide him, you have to be sure of course he doesn't get spotted. And if you use CQC, you can knock out a guard without having to actually uh, fist fight him and just like lock him and maybe disarm him sometimes and like knock him out in one shot. When you get to the last fight, this becomes very useful because the other fights you can pretty much, you actually really have to rely on weapons. When, when you get to the boss, she actually attacks you with fists and you gotta be careful not to get punched in the face with that. She'll break your ass and she'll break your weapon as well. So you need to counter it using CQC. Alright, okay, 9 minutes for tea. Alright, well this is... Uh, not the end of the review, I'm going to do a part 2 because there's still a lot to talk about. Stay tuned.